everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem solve d square y by dx square minus a square y equals to 0, where a is not equals to 0. What happens if a equals to 0? This term gets cancelled, right? Not cancelled, this, be uh, this becomes 0. Solution given differential equation. d square y by dx square minus a square y equals to 0. Then, you can just write this as since d by dx equals to capital D. Okay? We have differential operator D for d by dx. Then, you can write d square y by dx square as d square into y, right? So this becomes d square y minus a square y equals to 0. Then take y common from these two terms, you'll get a, sorry, d square minus a square into y equals to 0, which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to 0. So, we are given a linear homogeneous equation of this form. Right? Now, we have f of d. Just compare these two equations, then we will get f of d equals to d square minus a square. Now we need to find the solution to the given equation. Using auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0, we will find the general solution to the given equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0. So, how we will get f of m? Simply replace d by m. Then we will get f of m equals to m square minus a square. Right? So, then m square minus a square equals to 0. Now, we need to find the roots. Okay? So, we know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b, right? So, you will get m plus a into m minus a, which are the factors of this. So, then you will get you are having m plus a into m minus a equals to 0, right? So, from this, we'll get m plus a equals to 0 and from this, we'll get m minus a equals to 0. If m plus a equals to 0, then m equals to minus a. If m minus a equals to 0, then m equals to plus a, right? So, here we'll get m equals to minus a and plus a. Here m equals to minus a plus a are roots of f of m equals to 0. So here we have roots minus a and a which are real and distinct. See here the equations of the form d squared plus p1, d power n minus 1 plus so on plus pn, right? Where p1, p2, p3, so on are real constants. That means here our a 
minus a plus a or some kind of a is a real constant. So now coming to the question, what happens if a is equals to 0? This becomes 0, right? Then we'll get only d square into what? Right? We don't get any term like p n, some constant finally, which does not involve any y or something, right? So we can't solve that equation. So we have mentioned here a is not equals to 0. Fine. Now we got the rules. So how can we write the solution using this rules? Let's see how we are going to write. For real and distinct roots, say M1, M2, M3, so on, Mn, we have the solution y equals to c1 e power m1, first one, first root into x plus c into e power, second root m2 into x plus so on plus some constant c3 into e power mn into x, right? Here we are having m equals to minus a and plus a. Let's consider minus a as m1, first root, and this as second root. Then the general solution will be consider the given equation of 1 as 1, then you get y equals to c1 e power for m1 minus a into x plus c2. We have only two roots, right? So we'll take one constant into e power. 1 root into x plus 1 constant e power 1 root into x. Okay, we'll neglect the remaining. We have two roots. We'll get only two terms. A into x. Or, if you consider A as m1 and minus A as m2, then y equals to c1 e power m1 that is ax plus c into e power m2 minus ax. Okay. You can write either this or this one. You can choose any of these two. So, this completes a problem. Fine. So our differential equation is of the form some function x y into you have d square y by dx square right it involves x y and d square y by dx square so here the order of the equation is the highest derivative here the highest derivative is d square y by dx square. We don't have any other derivative other than this, right? So we have derivative d square y by dx square. So we can say that the order is 2. Right? Now, degree. The power of the highest derivative. So this is the highest derivative, right? Here the power is 1. So the power of the highest derivative will be our degree. So the degree of the given equation is 1. So we have seen a problem from differential equation that is higher order differential equation in this video. Hope you all understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.